I'm Roger, I'm the Bishop of Colchester. What does Lent mean to me? Lent is about repentance, not in a turn or burn kind of a way, but more as an invitation to re-experience grace. Our former Archbishop, Rowan Williams, once said that repentance is more like Jesus tapping you on the shoulder. The turning around that we hope for is, is not a dramatic about face, but a calm response to God's summons or call to come closer. The 40 days of Lent remind us that this gentle repentance can take a while, slowly, carefully, graciously. God helps us to change and turn our lives around. There are lots of things that uh, I could live without. And this Lent, I may choose to do so. Uh, I may choose to give up alcohol, maybe. That's no big deal. Coffee, on the other hand, I just need to stick with. Uh, it's not so much an addiction, just an absolute necessity. But apart from properly and carefully fasting as part of a spiritually enhanced diet, I'm not entirely convinced by the faddiness of giving things up for Lent. If it is about puring, purifying ourselves, then I think there are better ways. St James, who in writing his letter does not come across as a great bundle of fun, says this, Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself unstained by the world. Or as the message version puts it, to reach out to the homeless and loveless in their plight and guard against the corruption from the godless world. What can I live without? I could live without injustice. I could live without the widening gap in our country between the haves and the have-nots. I could live without the stories that I hear of utter desperation as people simply do not have the means to get by. I could live without seeing our young people struggle with their mental health and well-being while the support structures and agencies and societies and clubs that they depended upon fold through lack of finance. I could live without knife violence, sexual exploitation, modern slavery. I could live without drug gangs exploiting teenagers to distribute their poison. I could live without racism, sexism, homophobia. I could live without quite a lot. And maybe Lent, therefore, isn't about going without something, but maybe it's about ridding the world of something. Maybe it's about justice and refusing to live with certain things. The first thing I'd want to say about hope is that it is performative. The one who hopes lives differently. It's about slaves in their bondage singing songs of redemption. It's about prisoners in their grey and gloomy confinement creating artwork that is full of vibrant colour. It's about exiles prophesying about coming home. It's about the oppressed and downtrodden daring to dream that things will change. It is about defiantly proclaiming that the way things are is not the way things will always be. But it's about more than just thinking it or saying it. It's about living as if it is the case, presuming that the change has already happened. It's about subverting the status quo by appealing to a greater reality that is nothing less than the kingdom of God. Whatever you do this Lent, whatever you give up, live without, hope for, I pray that in this Lent, God may draw you closer to himself, that you may know more deeply, more richly, his love and his grace for each one of you. Thanks. <laughs>